Hello, this is Victor Zaito from ManagingPerformanceHub.com. Today we are talking about uh, the following sessions. Uh, training is number one, and the second one is awareness combining. Uh, those two stages are coming at the end of the implementation phase. Uh, with the training, if you remember, during the IGA stage, uh, there was a training matrix created by the energy services company. The purpose of this training matrix is basically to, is basically, which is to interview individuals in the organization and come up with the skill, lack of skill set required to uh, maintain the energy performance after the implementation of the energy performance contract. What you've got to understand is that yes, energy services companies guarantee the energy savings, but because normally they are not maintaining the buildings, it's a partnership. So effectively, they commission everything, they've set everything up. They would like to leave those operational systems, they operate nicely in this state. But obviously, we all know in practice, you know, things go wrong, people in interrogate BMS, they change set points, change time schedules, put stuff in manual, you name it. Uh, things do go uh, differently if you are not careful. That's why as a part of energy performance contract there is a training, you know, it could be like 30-40 days of training for the estates team. Um, and, and obviously various people will have to have different levels of training. For instance, like a general energy management, you know, one two day course is required for everyone, I would say for all personnel involved in maintaining the buildings. Uh, some specific stuff, uh, ESCO might have installed some specific technology like CHP, like steam boilers. And those piece of kit is, is unique, you know, it's special. So maybe there will be a special training for those, maybe by manufacturer of this equipment, maybe by some third party suppliers to teach your staff how to use this equipment so they become comfortable operating it, so it is running efficiently. Also one of the options for some of the equipment is, you know, some states decide actually, well, you know, we, we are not really comfortable maintaining CHP, but we would like to have like a service maintenance contract uh, for running and possibly even, you know, with the guaranteed output of say 90% availability, which is probably the kind of top-notch contract or for, for, for the CHP. That's also possible. Um, what else? Um, the next thing which we've got obviously training, it's not just the aspect of training people, it's also realizing that the energy performance contracts bring lots of other soft benefits. Yeah, the reason why they're soft is, is obviously through through this process of people are being trained, they see that they've been taken care of, their motivation level goes up, you know, they can see that with this new training course, they can see new opportunities to learn, maybe kind of a career progression. They would like to, to feel as part of, of this project, you know, participation, you know, to succeed in this overall project. You know, they, they feel maybe trust, uh, involvement, career prospects. You know, they, the, the perspective, um, the brand of the business is changing. You know, when, when people come and see, visit your buildings, for instance, you said, and they see PVs, when they come in on the roof, it straight away it sends message. Yes, it, it, you know, this organization is serious about this energy saving and it lifts the spirits. So all those sorts of benefits is, as energy services company will be, de will be giving all those benefits basically, developing your staff, motivating the staff to help you. The next part of the 
just before things go into guarantee, there is a stage called uh, energy awareness and um, client involvement campaign. All it is is basically it's normally energy services companies would recruit a specialist. It's a niche market, and they would recruit a specialist to run the campaign. I mean, there is so many stuff. Recently, I've been in one of the hospitals in London. They've done a program, and they're claiming amazing benefits. They they're claiming like tens of thousands of savings on a campaign on 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 the annual basis, uh, and it's just great. You know, all, all those companies will do. They would just go and interview the staff, and they would ask questions. You know, simple things. They will teach them how to do simple things. But more importantly, they will engage them. They the specific ways for interview. How, for instance, if you've got a department in the office, so so they will have a few interviews with your department on a continuous basis. People who work here, how do you think we can improve energy here? And you will be amazed. People coming up with some really good suggestions because they work there, they know stuff, they see stuff. Plus, you can recommend some simple campaigns which the lights off. When you go home, switch your PCs and office equipment off. Disable water coolers. Why? Why? Why water needs to be cooled? I mean, why? You know, it's not really healthy drinking cold water. You know, your stomach crunches, and you know you've got this thing. But obviously, this thing it, 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 it uses electricity to cool water down. Natural light. You know, using natural light. You know, you can teach your staff how to use natural stuff, natural light. You know, why do you need the light? Open the blinds. Um, like equipment in the kitchen. You know, you've got like boilers for for tea water. They ju they just cap like that. It's a one and a half kilowatt unit, say five seven liters. It's always on. You know, no one is here on weekends, but it constantly keeps it at whatever at the boiling temperature. Just why? You can you can switch it off, you know. If if energy services company haven't installed like a timer, so it just automatically goes off. You, you can just switch it off before you go go home. You know you you can have this conversation with security office, so they patrol the building after uh, the business is closed, for instance, in the evening. If that's your sort of business, uh, they can they can patrol those areas which are not occupied 24/7. Closing the windows, simple things, you know, if you've got the air conditioning unit on or radiator on, close the window. Um, and dre dress suitably as well, you know, you, you know, you, you can run the policy in the company, say, you know, that the office temperatures, for instance, in, uh, in winter is 21 degrees. That's fine. You don't need to be warmer, you can put a jumper. Uh, 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 and that's the policy, you know, we are saving energy, we, we are serious about the stuff. That's the policy, dress appropriately. You know, it should come from managing director or CEO, whoever is in charge in the company. Uh, another common thing is like temperatures in the IT and server rooms. You know, they kept at 19 degrees or 20 degrees. You come and sleep very cold and all, is, all, all there is there is like half empty rug. With kind, kind, with, with a couple of IT uh, switches uh, and hubs, and that's it. And it's 19 degrees, 24/7, and split system always runs. Why? What's the purpose of it? Switch it off. You know, if it's that simple. Normally, those. I mean, normally you can come and see there's window actually in the room. You know, uh, just just open the window slightly, and that's it. That's enough. You don't need to run a split system if of. Uh, Three kilowatt of cooling using you know half of the day maybe that's that's energy savings and people can change those things that's their behavior changing their behavior um so yes that's it that that that's very important but the important thing is ongoing campaign you know you you can go through your website for instance uh, uh, for your ethernet and and so people can see you you can do some Free training. There is free training available by some great energy services companies. Uh, you can go on their website, and the, and there is free training. For instance, you know Schneider, for instance, has got 
award-winning Schneider University. And I mean, it's got over 200 modules and energy efficiency. I go there, I land there. The island stuff, I've written two books, but I go there and I find stuff. Some, someone has written, some has done a, a module on chillers and how to save energy and chill. I didn't know that. They, they came up with this stuff in America because they always use lots of cooling in Florida. We don't do it so often here. We don't use cooling 24 7, uh, 365. So make sure it's all running nicely and you know in, engage your staff um, and you've got to be ch to champion this straight from the top from from the top of organization and just have it as an ongoing basis and believe me you, you it will help the, the energy performance contract to achieve those savings well thank you very much that was the end of the session for the training and energy awareness customer engagement campaigns um, of the energy performance contracts. Bye.